Hello guys, my name is Gavin, and this will be a video on how to make a more in-depth um, 2D platformer. So we're going to have our player start at the bottom and, and go up the map by jumping, but we're going to include things like um, moving platforms and um, like vertically and horizontally. Um, and I'm just going to get started. So to start off, let's right click on this light, hit X delete, right click on this camera, hit X delete, and right click on this cube and hit X and delete. Hit 7 to go in the top view and let's do spacebar and then add, um, actually before we do that, I'll hit shift and C to bring our crosshair back to the middle and then do spacebar and then add a plane and let's do S and about 15. Alright, let's now add a material to our plane by clicking on this tab right here, hit new, and let's have the background be green. <coughs> okay, now that we have this, I'm going to hit this plus sign right here and add a new material and this new material will be, let's say, let's say red. That'll work. Alright. Let's now go on to let's now go into edit mode right here, and let's select face select mode and right click on this face right here, and do W subdivide W subdivide W subdivide W subdivide, and how about one more time? Hit A to deselect everything, and then hit B and outline the corners of the map. B and then outline the corners of the map. B drag B and drag. All right. What we now want to do is we pretty much want to have like a let's say a three cube gap at the bottom, a three cube gap between the platforms and stuff. So let's have something like this, where this can be where our player starts somewhere along here. Then because we want to actually um, have like vertical and horizontal platforms moving around, let's just make kind of like a map where it would depend um, a lot on you know the user having to you know well we want let's just have a channel over here so our player can jump onto the platform and move up and let's have like another section where he can jump and move to the side so let's hit B and then drag over this section of the map so let's have it so that we have our vertical platform going like this and our horizontal one going this way <coughs> okay and if the player just wants to navigate around without using those things we can also make one over here as well. Okay. So now that we got some sort of, you know, small map going like this, I'm now going to hit this red material right here and hit a sign so that we can now see the floor of our it's red it's red like this. But let's actually extrude this section right here and hit seven to go on the top view so that we now actually have a 3D platform for our player to jump on. All right, let's now hit R, X, and then 90 to make it vertical like this, and hit 1 to go in the front view, and let's now do spacebar, then add a cube like this, and this cube, let's drag it out, hit S and Y to make it fairly, you know, wide like this, I'll hit S and Z, and this will be our platform. <coughs> All right, hit S and X to scale it out, and let's have our platform... Let's say let's let's have it be red or um, orange. Let's say orange like this. So if we hit P, we've got our platform like this. Let's drag this one platform over here. So we have our platform like this, and I'll call this one vertical. So this will be a vertical platform, and I might actually add platform to the end like this. Uh, vertical. I'll just leave it as vertical because I keep spelling it wrong. All right, now that we have this, <coughs> sorry, still got a cough today. What we're going to do is animate this platform. So let's have it be a hundred keyframes, one hundred like this. Okay, and let's now have it. Or um, let's have the end be one hundred. Sorry. So let's have it so that on frame zero. So let's set this one to zero. We're going to have it so it's going to be locked in this position. So let's do I and unlock location. And on frame 100, it's going to be locked in that location as well. So let's do I and unlock location. But then on frame 50, let's move it up to about here. And do I and unlock location. So we can see our moving platform is going to do this. That will be our moving platform that we're going to use for our 2D platformer. Okay, 
I might actually scale it a little bit out on the x-axis by doing S and Z, X and S and X, sorry. And we can see our platform is going to move up like this now. Okay. Now that we have this, I might actually, um, let's actually add a new platform. So spacebar and then add a cube again. S and Z to scale it down. S and Y to add depth to it. And let's drag it up. And let's drag it up to about here. And it's about this wide. And let's have it so that it's, its material is going to be the orange one. Again. <coughs> All right. And we can see that if we hit the play button, about the top of it is about here. So let's drag it down to about here. And let's have it so that on frame zero, we're going to have it be right around here. So let's do I and then lock. Actually, on frame zero and on frame 100, it's going to be about right here. So let's do I and then lock location right here on frame zero. And then on frame 100 as well, I and then lock location. And then on frame 50, it's going to be about the same height and depth as the, as the other one. So let's do I and then lock location right here. So we can see our platform game is going to look like this. And that's kind of going to represent, you know, if you're actually playing a game, the platforms are going to kind of be right next to each other. And it will work like that. All right. Now that we have this, I'll actually rename this as um, horizontal, even though it moves vertically a little bit. So now that we've got our platforms like this, let's have it so that we can go into the game engine. So go from defaults to game logic one to go into front view and let's have it so that the horizontal one will constantly play the animation so add an always sensor with those three dots selected add an action actuator let's have loop end and I named it platform I named it horizontal after so it's actually re it's actually named as um cube action like this and let's have it so that it will play it's from frame 0 to 100 and it will loop the animation constantly so if we hit P to play now we should see the platform is just going to move like this. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is add an always sensor and add an action actuator on our other one. Uh, loop ends will be the mode and it will be vertical action from frame 0 to 100. So we should see <coughs> that if we play it, both of the platforms are going to move like this. All right, now that we have that, what we're going to do now is actually add our player into the game. We're doing spacebar, then add a cube. This cube we're going to put down here. Uh, one to go into front view. Let's make this cube a uh, let's make this cube a character like this. And what we're going to do is have our cube move left with the A button. We're going to have it move right with the D button, right D, and let's have a keyboard sensor, jump will be spacebar. Okay, now that we have this, we're going to have a motion actuator, negative 0.2 on the x-axis for left, 0.2 on the x-axis for right, and for the jump, Let's change the motion type from to character motion and select jump like this and drag these across like this. All right, so now that we have that, we should see our cube is going to move up like this. And actually our cube kind of has a hard time making that jump. And all right, I might actually scale the map down just a hair. To make it easier for our cube to make it up. No, I can't really make it up. All right, for the sake of this video, I'll just drag our cube up here, scale them down just a little bit, and drag them like this. So we've got our main cube. He can move like this. And then we'll jump onto the platform, jump like this, and make it to the top of the map. Okay, guys, that is how you make a 2D platform with uh, moving platforms. I hope you found this useful. 
Um, and thanks for watching.